I'm I'm going live at eight, at eight o'clock from the Royal Albert Hall virtually um, on November seventh. It will be amazing. I mean, to get to play the Royal Albert Hall, sadly not with an audience, but to play the Royal Albert Hall is uh, it's one of the most beautiful rooms you could ever, you know, wish to play a gig in. Um, so the chance to have to show it off and it's and it's beauty, show its beauty off around the world is uh, pretty cool for me to do as well. There's four streams set up for people like so the Australian Australian audience don't have to get up at silly o'clock to come and watch me. So there's one for those guys. I'm going to give all of the money to the We Need Crew um, fund that was set up by a crew member. As as these people are self-employed and didn't qualify um, for the furlough scheme, even though the live music industry was a 4.5 billion industry to the UK last year. Um, and these, in my eyes, these people have been kind of left behind, and nothing's been done up until this point. Um, so I, I feel like I don't want to take any credit for it because I'm going to be the first one to do it. But I, I want uh, the reason I'm doing it is to urge other artists because I think it's the artists it's in the artists' hands now to make as much noise as we can because we know, you know, we're there. You know, we see the crew all the time. They're the first people up in the morning, the last people to bed, and they deserve to get yeah. everything out of this. And um, yeah, we're going to try and make as much money as possible and pass it all over. I was going to tour this year. There was going to be 14 trucks. So straight away, that's 14 truck drivers. It was going to be maybe 40 to 50 people, uh, stage hands, backline technicians, uh, tour managers, etc. So you're talking maybe, you know, 60 people all in all, uh, just in my tour. Um, on other tours I've been on over the years, we had 150 people every single day on our stadium tour in one day. Um, so there are there's just the sheer scale and the, and the work that goes into uh, putting the stage together um, for the show uh, that starts at nine o'clock is is incredible and kind of overlooked in ways. I've been touring for for ten years effectively around the world, in all in all the corners of the globe with all different types of people from up and down this country and all over the British Isles and Americans and all sorts of kind of they love live music they love what they do uh, and yeah and, and you get you get you get friendly with them and they become as you say part of your family because you spend so much time with them, whether it be a carpenter a light rigger you know so something like that it's just it's, it's just a lot of fun to be around my album was coming out the week that uh, we went into lockdown so not the greatest launch of an album i've ever heard of um but uh, I, I flew straight back here to london and i've been here ever since um not been able to get back to, to Ireland to the family and stuff like that as Ireland's having a bit of trouble at the moment. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if I get home at Christmas, that'll be amazing, but that'll have me not home in a year. So oh. <laughs> it's a bit, bit strange for me, but um, yeah. I, I kind of, in a way, in a weird way, kind of enjoyed it because, you know, I haven't had a, a, you know, a significant amount of time off in 10 years. So it's been nice to kind of live a half normal life for a little bit, but I am raring to go and setting up like things like this uh, get the fire in the belly going and I want to get back out in the world ASAP.